But the big picture at this hour, as we wait, disgrace at Arlington National Cemetery. A sign outside the cemetery asks visitors to remember these are hallowed grounds and to conduct yourselves with dignity and respect at all times. But yesterday, we talked with Salon comes Mark Benjamin, whose investigative piece looked at how graves at Arlington have been neglected and remains misplaced. So in our bigger picture, we wanted to get some answers and follow up uh, to the response that so many of you gave to us. So the Vietnam Veterans Memorial collects every letter and memento families leave at the wall. But at Arlington Section 60, where 600 service members who died in Iraq and Afghanistan are bur buried, cards and personal items left at the gravesite often ended up in the trash. And joining us now is Paul Reichoff, founder and executive director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Paul, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. So you can imagine a lot of people responded to this uh, Salon report. Uh, what is your response to what's out there part of this investigation? It's outrageous. I mean, our members are all around the country. Some are in Iraq and Afghanistan, and they're outraged right now. We've got 600 of our brothers and sisters buried at Section 60. I was actually there over Memorial Day. Uh, a lot of our members were there to lay the wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It's an incredibly important, sacred part of our country's heritage. It's incredibly important to the families of the fallen, and to hear this is absolutely outrageous. We need an investigation. We need the Army to get involved and find out what's going on down there. Well, there is an investigation underway, and at least uh, the deputy director who was overseeing uh, it has been uh, uh, investigated and brought up on some uh, serious allegations toward him, including fraud. But had you heard about this before? I mean, many, many families go there every day, as you yourself recently yeah. visit. Had you heard of this kind of thing in, happening? In the last few weeks, there, there had been rumors. Uh, we heard about the stories of perhaps power washing uh, some of the headstones that mementos are being thrown in the trash, and it's absolutely unacceptable. The Vietnam Wall does do a good job of chronicling, uh, keeping them all in an environmentally trolled area. They could do exactly the same thing in Arlington, preserve that history, and really pay uh, honor and dignity to these folks who have given their lives in defense of our country. From what I understand, our military does a pretty good job on most things of computerizing records, keeping track of where people are in the system when they're on active duty, but the idea that Arlington National Cemetery would be trying to keep track of its records essentially on paper, on yeah. pieces of paper, is crazy. It is. It's definitely behind the times. You know, they've been trying to push forward uh, an electronic record keeping system for some time, but they're behind. I hope that this gives them the motivation to do that. We need to be able to track everything down to the smallest detail, especially for these folks and the families that have given absolutely so much. They, they, they deserve the best, and we've got to get on this and make it happen quickly. Well, just um, NBC actually asked uh, Arlington uh, Cemetery to respond to this report from Salon, and I just want to make sure we get that in there. They say, military grounds are an important way to which we continue to pay our respects to our nation's service members resting at Arlington Cemetery. Regulations are in place to maintain their dignity. Certain allowances have been made due to the sensitivity of Section 60, such as military and religious items, coins and patches that are saved. Please refer to Department Army Pamphlet 2990 for regulation outline. So that was their response to this. In the end, though, you hear so much, especially after 9-11 and, and the start of these wars, you, you have to support and love these troops and, and give them uh, care and love and let them know that we care. What does this say? What does this say? It's to a slap family? in the face, and I think this crosses partisan lines. I hope that Congress will get involved immediately. I've got three guys that I serve with they're buried there in Section 60. Saw them on Memorial Day. We go there every time we're in town, and, and those are my brothers, and they need to be taken care of at the highest level. Paul Rykoff, thanks so much for coming, and we appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And uh, Tamron, again, as we said yesterday, I mean, it's outrageous. And, and as you know, Paul's pointing out, when people leave things, these are not just, you know, sometimes flowers or cards. Sometimes they're medals, they're ribbons, they're things that have value. And to, uh, the idea that this stuff is ending up in the trash and that some of the people who are supposed to be buried there might it might be somebody else, that's it's, it's, it's horrifying. All right. Horrifying.